What the heck is a beast mode? Beast modes are custom calculations you create and save on Domo cards. It's also a way that you can modify and get further insight into your data without necessarily changing your actual data set. Now I'm going to show you how to use these functions in beast mode. If you want just the count, average, or sum, you can do that much more directly by just changing the aggregation of your metric itself. Count is a simple function that counts the rows of the field you specify, including duplicates. So here we have our Homer's Donut Expense data set. Now Homer eats an awful lot of donuts, and lately he's been keeping track of how much he spends. So if we run a count function on the donut types, we can see a count of the entries in the donut category, which is six. It does not count the null. Now, if we do the same thing, but with count distinct, you will get five because two of our entries are both chocolate sprinkles. So it's not counting the duplicates, it's counting the unique entries. Now I'm going to show you something tricky, which you might run into. Here we have our count and our count distinct, six and five, which we've already been over. Let's go ahead and drag in the donut type. And now you can pretty clearly see how the functions are performing side by side. But whoa, why did count distinct suddenly add an extra one to the detail? One, two, three, four, five, six, but the total is five. This isn't a glitch. It's actually how count distinct works. Count distinct in many data tools, not just Domo, will ignore nulls unless the null is the only value to count. This can really trip you up if you don't expect it. Now, another function I want to briefly mention is approximate count distinct, which Domo still has documentation <laughs> published on their website about, but it is deprecated as of the date of this video. Same as count, sum is a simple function that aggregates numerical values. So here we can see how much poor Homer spends on donuts in a month. Yikes, dude. Now, sum distinct will sum the numerical values for the unique values in the data set, not the unique donuts, the unique values. This is our entire data set here, and this is the table card. You can see how sum is returning the total of the column and sum distinct is returning the sum of all unique dollar amounts. And average is another one that's pretty simple. It is just the average value of the selected metric. If you have no categorization or filter selected, you will have the average for the entire data set. If you bring in the donut types, which we do here, you will see the average value by donut type. Easy peasy. Want more? I'm sure you do, because we haven't even gotten to the good stuff yet. Check out more in the series on Domo Beast Mode functions, and don't forget to subscribe.